A new treatment is offering hope for Alzheimer's patients after the drug makers released results from a recent clinical trial. Mandy Gaither has more on what the data shows and why some believe this is a promising step toward helping those suffering with this disease. In the U.S., around 6 million people are living with Alzheimer's disease, but a new monoclonal antibody treatment is showing promising results, according to drug makers. It's been a long time since we've had a development like this, potentially in the world of Alzheimer's. The companies that make the drug say clinical trials show it slowed the rate of cognitive decline by about 27 percent in those studied. Some of the 1,800 people in the trial got the drug, while others got a placebo. Over 18 months, they were asked questions about memory, orientation, and problem solving. And while 27% may not sound like a large number, in terms of being able to still be functional, uh, if you have that, that sort of slowing of cognitive decline, that can be really significant. In the trial, the treatment seemed to reduce the amount of plaques in the brain of a person with Alzheimer's disease. It's not entirely clear what the relationship is between clearing plaques and improving cognition, but this drug seemed to do both. While this treatment is promising, it's still early. They still got to, you know, put this through the peer review process. They've applied for accelerated approval from the FDA. If the treatment is given the green light, it could be available as early as next year. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither.